50% is coming from the private sector. We are collecting special levies, and I think the only reason we're collecting them is because there's a direct correlation between new homes and property values. The only part that we talk about public money is that part of that 32 million, it's not all of it, part of that 32 million goes back to the question that was asked about additional office and commercial space. So really it's the section 37 that we're using less than half to help part of the financing. Over 90% is coming from the private sector and the special levy. If it was the other way around, if this was the Quebec City model, I would not be before you tonight. I would not be here if we said we're going to find $200 million from our property taxes, we'll cut this program, we'll lay off a few people, and we'll find $200 million. If that was the proposal, I would not bring this to council. I wouldn't bring it to, I wouldn't bring it to the community. Yeah, so we've done it without okay. But, but I think that you still need to ask the public if uh, they want to uh, even this 5% uh, or 10% to be paid from... Uh, it's not being paid by you. Well, no, I understand, yeah. but but it could be used for uh, for and the public good. That, that's that's the problem. We've only really only started to... The Section 37 money that's, uh, that's being applied just started in, in April, so did the uh, special levy. To date, I think we've already collected $8 million from the special levy, and that's just starting in April. So it's really the bulk of it, the bulk, 90%, I gotta repeat this again, 90% is made up of 50% from the private sector, the rest the special levy, and we're using that small portion. And there'll be other projects that we will apply the Section 37 to that we haven't even contemplated yet.